one of the things we're going to look at is the finish here. But let's go ahead and forward all the way through and find out how we got to that position that we're looking at right there at the finish. All right, let's move him to the startup. All right, here we go. Let's get right to the startup. All right, what he starts out with, let's undo the uh, yellow line here. Uh, first off, he's got a pretty decent tilt. You see that line right there? That's called the power line. That's what we move into when we swing. What I don't like is the position of the golf ball, which is not in front of his cheek. It's not in that area right there at all. If I undo that and I draw a line straight down, straight up from the golf ball, the best as I can, well, that's a little bit in front of the golf ball. But you can see, even in front of the golf ball, uh, the ball is way back in the stance. The ball needs to be between his cheek and his lead shoulder. Um, what he's going to do here is hit down on the ball, create a lot of top spin. It won't go very far. And the chances of creating an offline hit are, are greatly increased. Um, so let's take a look at this swing. We'll watch it in slow motion. Oh, oh right there. We're going to collapse right there. Uh, there you see the collapsing of the swing. Uh, he's pulled away from the, from the yellow line. And we've got this bend in the lead arm. See that right there? Uh, there's no width. Uh, the width of the swing, as we go back to the setup position, we'd like to see the arms swing at a consistent arc. Undo that. Let's go to a circle here. At a consistent arc. We'd like to see the arm stay on that, that circle. Do pretty good on the way back, do pretty good there, pretty good there. And then all of a sudden he's collapsing way in. Now granted, it's going to be a little bit of an ellipse on the swing, but we don't need to collapse that much. The other thing we don't need to do is move that far off the yellow line. Now as he starts back to the, to the ball, you're going to see he's moving back to the yellow line. He's going to pass the yellow line. Well, he doesn't. Pretty good. But he lifts right there. We're going to watch the head lift up and out of the shot. I'll draw a little line across the top of the head. Watch how much of the hat shows up. Here we go. The hat's coming up. Now the ball is only about an inch and a quarter. Now he's raised up a couple of inches. It makes it really hard to find the ball. The other thing is, he's because he's so far back, he's hit down on the ball, it's going to create a high launch. It's going to be a great looking ball flight but it's going to fall out of the sky. He's going to lose 25 to 30 percent of his distance. The other thing we're noticing here is there is absolutely no forward momentum in the golf swing. As we move into the shot, you can see the shoulders aren't swinging the club, the arms were. The other thing we're going to notice if we clear everything out of the way is that at about here, I should see full extension. In other words, the shoulders should be on this line. The hands should be way out in front and the left elbow should be down and I should see the glove fingers. I don't see any of that. As we turn through the shot, we never get rotated to the front side. So we're going to work really hard on his next session to get him getting his belt buckle to the target, his right knee to the left knee, and his right hip around.